Howdy, everyone. My name is Colby Beck. I am a Power Platform Solution Architect here at Journey Team. Have you been struggling trying to understand Microsoft lic licensing? Because I know I do. It gets confusing. It changes a lot, especially when you're dealing with the Power Platform. One of the licenses that I see causes the most confusion is the Power Apps per app plan. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you what it does, how it works, how you can assign it to users, and how awesome it can be and how it can help your, your organization. Now, the first thing you need to understand that there are three different types of standalone Power App licenses. There's the premium license, there's the per app license, and there is the pay as you go license. The premium li license gives users access to unlimited apps. The per app plan, which we're talking about today, gets your user access to one app and the pay as you go license. You could technically have unlimited access to as many apps as, you, as your users need or want, although you're going to be paying $10 per app per user per, per month that they open up apps. So all these apps give you the same access to all premium connectors and the ability to run flows, but it really just comes down to how many apps a user can access. So like I just said, with the per apps plan, you can access all premium connectors and there are 300 plus of them. You can also create custom connectors. So you have all the access to those. You have the ability to run flows. Like I mentioned, you can only access one power app. Now, what gets people confused is where do you actually assign these licenses and at what point do they get assigned to users and how does that all work? So here I have this cute little diagram that can showcase how it works. So the per app plan, they actually don't get assigned directly to users by a IT administrator or anything like that. What happens is the licenses get purchased in the Microsoft Admin Center, and then they have to be allocated to the Power Platform environment where your apps live. And then once your user actually opens the app that has been shared with them, that is when the license gets assigned to them. For example, in here in this little diagram in my environment, I have four per app plans or licenses that have been purchased. And I have my three different types of apps down here. I have Canvas App 1, 2, and then a model-driven app. Let's say that Canvas App 1 was assigned to user number one. As that user gets assigned the app and they open up the application, one of our licenses will be assigned to them. That now means that there are only three licenses available for three more users or to stack those licenses for our same user. So now let's say that user number two gets Canvas app number two straight with them. They're going to be in the environment, meaning that another one of our licenses is assigned. Now let's say that user number two needs to access our model driven app over here. Once that app is shared with them and they open it, they will then receive a second license. So those licenses will stack, meaning right now we have two users who are between the two of them accessing three apps, which means that we need to have three per app licenses at a minimum so those users can access those apps. So right now we have one remaining uh, license, which means we can either have a new user assigned to a license or we could assign another app to our user number one. Now, the per app license does not include giving users access to any D365 apps. So that would be like the sales hub, field service or customer service. This only gives users access to custom power apps that, that you build inside your environment. So there are three steps that you need to follow in order to get these licenses actually assigned to the users. The first thing is you actually have to purchase the license in the Microsoft Admin Center. Then you have to open up the Power Platform Admin Center and apply those licenses to the correct environment. And then the fun part, you go open your app and you can share your app with the users and they can now access those um, apps. So let's look at, at how this is actually done. So I'm going to open up the Microsoft Admin Center. You can see over here, I can go to Purchase Services. Once you open up Purchase Services, you can search for Power Apps. That'll load. And if you scroll down, you'll see under Business Apps, you have your Power Apps Premium, which is the $20 per license per month. And then this is the one we're talking about today. We have our Per App Plan, which is just the $5. Now, like I said, the difference is if I was to purchase this Power Apps Premium license, I would assign it directly in here to the user that I want to have that license. But in this case, you just go in here and you would choose how many Per App licenses you would want, and then you would click buy. And you also have the option to pay for them on a yearly basis. Okay, now once you purchase the license, then like I said, you'd go to the Power Platform Admin Center. Once you're in here, you would go to Capacity, and then you go to Add-ons. You can notice right here that there are no environments found. I don't have any add-ons assigned. So what I would, I'm going to do, I'm going to click assign to an environment. And then I'm going to type in my environment that I want to assign. You can see right here, I have three app passes remaining. An app pass, 
is the same thing as the per app plan. They have different names for whatever reason from when you're buying them and then from when you're actually applying them. Don't ask me why the reason is behind that. Here, I'm just gonna apply my three passes. So now you can see I have zero remaining. I can hit save. And now you're gonna see that those uh, passes have been applied to this environment. So what this means now is now I could go inside this environment and sh start sharing apps with users who don't have any other Power App licensing and they would be able to access that one single app. Now the part that has been confusing in the past, but fortunately there's a new feature out to give people insight is people have always asked, okay, so I have all these per app licenses, who actually has them? Before we had no visibility, but now we do. Still in the Power Platform Admin, Admin Center, you can now go to billing right here and then click on licenses. And then if you go to environments, you can select the environment you're interested in. And if you scroll down here, so in this environment, we have three different types of licenses that are being used. We have the Power Apps Per App, Power Apps Premium, and Power Apps Trial. So with the Per App license, you can see we have 92 active users because we have 92 licenses right now. If I click on the Power Apps Per App link right here, and it'll scroll down and you can see that we have two apps that are utilizing the Per App license. And specifically with this one, I wanna look at this one up here that has 90 active users. So if I click on the 90, you can see this is a hyperlink. It'll scroll down again. And then this will give you a list of all the users who currently at the moment have that license assigned to them. Now, the only way to remove a license from a user right now, it's not as clear from the admin center of how to do that, but the way you would do that is either unshare the app from that user or disable the user or remove the licenses from the environment. So quick recap, the Power App Per App license gives users access to all premium connectors and the ability to run flows, but they can only open one app. And once that license is assigned to them, that app, that license sticks to them until you unshare the app with them or remove them from the environment. And the three-step process to get the Per Apps license set up is to one, purchase them from the Microsoft environment or at a Microsoft uh, admin center then per, um, assign them in the Power Platform Center, and then share the app with your users. So that is it. Now, if you have any further questions or need any further assistance in your Power Platform development or have any other licensing questions, uh, please feel free to reach out to the Journey Team. We would love to help you in your Power Platform journey. Thank you.